Hello, it's the Bat Mini Painter, and uh, I am back to uh, some uh, leagues of Wotan with this Einhör Champion. Actually, pretty awesome model. I, I, I do like these uh, space dwarfs that are way bigger than uh, Kadian Shock Troops that I just figured out today trying to build some Kadian Shock Troops. Fiddly little models. This one was actually a joy to put together. Mm, nothing to really piss you off. Anywho, base color with uh, uh, some brain matter white, I think it's called, from uh, the army painter. And then it's, uh, it's time for Sons of Horus. Um, severely thinned down. Uh, there was a guy that yelled in my comments uh, that I should thin down my paints, and I, I, I actually do. Uh, but. Um, yeah, so uh, in this case it was a question about uh, two, some place of three coats before I had full coverage, but it, it came on pretty smooth. Uh, then I go in with a Coelia green shade. Coelia? Anyhow, green shade. And um, I slap it on pretty thick uh, because I wanted it uh, in all the crevices um, to really uh, define and highlight uh, the armor, which is just absolutely awesome uh, on these models. Then I moved on to Corvus Black um, and that's uh, well, for the weapon um, for the little uh, I, I don't know with the tubes, cylinders on his back I, I don't know what he has in that I, I should really figure out the lore about these models it just it looks kind of weird, but it, nah, that's fine. You know, it's it's a fashion choice, I guess, for them. Then that badger for the metal parts. Um, there's not a lot of them. Um, there's the spine and uh, some details on the weapon and uh, some some uh, hoses or uh, yeah that I decided to uh, to give a a dead badger. and this spiny part. Just basically just to break up the armor, which is kind of monochrome. Retribute armor um, for all the markings on on the armor um, and the goat on his back. And it's just uh, going through the model and carefully picking it out. I use a fine uh, tipped uh, brush for this uh, because they are tiny. And a bigger one for this, because it's not tiny. That makes sense. I decided to go with the demon red from Two Thin Coats for uh, the fur, the hair, whatever, the the dazzle that comes out of the butt of the goat, and the handle of uh, of the uh, hammer. And this is me shaking my arm. Then I go back with the Sons of Horrors uh, just to clean up on the, on the um, armor. Uh, and I do that with a really, really thinned out uh, version. So it's kind of like cloudy when it comes on. And it, it gives a. It's not the. It makes the contrast between the shade and the um, uh, yeah, new paint uh, less uh, steep. Morn Fang uh, Brown for the leather on the handle of the weapon, and then Reichland Flesh Shade uh, pretty much on everything that isn't um, isn't the armor. So all the gold uh, I decided to use it for the leather and the handle as well, uh, and also for the lead belcher parts. And it, it gives it like a, a warm brownish uh, shade uh, that I actually really liked. Then uh, Bat Moon Yellow for uh, the light on his chest. Um, I decided to go with a contrast paint here because it also added a bit of glow, which I thought was kind of cool. To uh, highlight all the black parts on this model, I use uh, Incubi, uh, Incubi uh, Darkness. Um, <coughs> it it, uh, it kind of uh, ties uh, the weapon or the black parts together with all the green parts. It's 
It looks kind of nice. Uh, it's a good transitional color between the uh, black and the uh, and, and the uh, yeah, Sons of Horus. Uh, Gauss Blaster Green uh, and Edge Paint from Citadel, and I use that for edge highlighting of the uh, of the armor. And it's it's a tedious. Uh, look how shaky I am. Oh, it's a tedious, tedious process, but I think it, it, it actually does a huge difference to just add a little bit of highlight. You don't have to go crazy and do it all over the model. Actually, that can make it look a bit messy, especially when I do it. Um, but um, definitely worth the time. Uh, for his skin, uh, I decided to go the contrast way and do uh, Gulliman Flesh. Gulliman? Gulliman Flesh? And the Griff Hound Orange for his hair. Focus. There we go. I think that that's a decent face. And finally, my uh, most dreaded part: all the little nails and rivets on his armor gets a dab of uh, Stormhose silver. And it's, it's it's kind of like you can break a lot of stuff uh, or destroy the paint job you already did if you're clumsy with this. But I think it does a, a pretty big difference. I know what you think, but uh, I think all the little uh, rivets. Um, oh, it's it's a nice little detail, and it, it adds some interest. And I probably wouldn't do it if I had to paint uh, like 40 of these guys, but for a champion, yeah, put in the extra effort. So this is the finished product. Product. <coughs> I I have forgotten how fun these guys were to paint, so yeah, I'm going to do a batch uh, video uh, painting 20 warriors soon. Just need to, you know, put them together. So that's that. Yeah, so that that's definitely coming up at some point in time. Anywho. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video, um, if you did, please leave a like, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. If you didn't like it, leave a dislike, I will dis uh, like disappear from your feed, and uh, and it also helps with the algorithm, so yeah, no hard feelings, you know? Um, yeah, so thank you for your time, I will hopefully see you soon for another upload, and uh, until then, have fun! <laughs>